On today's show, we're going to go on a little road trip to eastern Montana, and what brings us out here are giant lake trout. We're going to have brutal weather conditions. We know that forecast isn't looking good, but the trout out here are incredible, and it's late fall. Everybody's got deer on the brain. It's the first week of the deer season. People are out hunting elk. This is a great area for big game, but it's big lake trout that are calling our name, and that's what we're going to fish for, and the trout out here are so impressive, and the best part about this I can almost guarantee it that there's going to be hardly anybody out here. You have to make your own fishery report out here because there's not that many people out fishing, but that adds to the mystique of this place. Huge fish and no fishermen. You couldn't ask for anything more if you like to fish. Fish. Whoa, I'm gonna put the boat in neutral here. Oh, wow. Look at the power of that fish. Is that something? Get a waypoint here. Everything grows to Jurassic portions on Fort Peck. Huge walleyes, big lake trout, big Chinook salmon. Huge smallmouth bass and northern pike, but you name it, it gets big on this water. This isn't a huge lake trout, but it's a respectable one. Wow, these are such a fun fish to catch. It's a top of the line predator. Oh, yeah, look at the white jaws. Beautiful fish. Whoa. Try to do this one-handed. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful, gorgeous fish? And what's neat about this is that in a lot of places, they close the lake trout season down in the fall. But out here, you can catch them in the fall when these fish move up shallow. But there, just a gorgeous fish. Gorgeous. That's what we're here for. This makes the road trip worthwhile right here. Jason Mitchell Elite Series Rods brings you the daily log entry. There's a fish. Wow, look at that fish. It's off to the races. Whoa. Fun. With the boat neutral here. Look at the power of these things. You just gotta let them go. <laughs> but it's late October, and that's what's so neat about this is you come out to this lake late in the year, early in the year, you don't need downriggers to catch these fish. These fish are shallow and they're just a blast to catch when you can catch them at 10 to 20 feet of water. Starting to gain some ground on them now. I love that first run. They just go berserk. You know, and the, the lake trout story is really a neat story from a fisheries perspective in the sense that they put Cisco's in Fort Peck quite a while back, and that just, the lake trout here just exploded. Beautiful looking fish there. Look at the girth on that fish. Whoa, come here, girl. It's kind of hard to do by yourself, but there, <laughs> awesome. Put the rod down here, show this fat girl off. I cannot believe the girth on this fish. Incredible, incredible. There. Wow, look at the girth on that fish. That is just a healthy trout. And on light tackle, this is just a blast. Let's get this girl back in the water. What a beautiful fish. Oh. 
A big fish, big fish. Whoa. These fish are just stacked along here. This is incredible. And nobody's out here doing this. Unbelievable. I can't even budge this fish. <laughs> this is awesome. Tell you what, I'm gonna have to put the boat in gear and point us out. It's kind of a circus when you're by yourself, but it kind of adds to the drama a little bit. There. Wow, look at that power. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep pushing us out a little bit just to kind of keep us out of that other line here. Wow, this is a pretty simple program. Late in the year and early in the year, there's a key areas on Fort Peck where they catch a lot of lake trout. Haxby Point, York Island, and we're fishing the face of the dam. And we're just running, I'll show you the bait that we're using, but just a bait that can handle, you know, those three mile an hour trolling speeds. And we're just running right up along the riprap. And these fish are just loaded in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my, this is why people drive all the way out to Fort Peck right here. Wow. Wow. Oh my, look at that fish. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, incredible. How am I going to net this? <laughs> well, I've netted bigger fish by myself and I've lost smaller fish by myself. So we'll give her a try here. I still think she's a little... She's a little fresh yet. Wow, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Come on. Take my time here. That is a big lake trout. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. We got her. Yeah. Wow. Look at this animal. Oh my goodness. What a predator this fish is. Oh my goodness. Look at the jaws. Look at the jaws on this fish. Oh, wow. He's got teeth like a dog. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> that is a lake trout in 10 feet of water on uh, what you could consider walleye tackle. That's as good as it gets right there, folks. Wow. Whoa! That is a good one. Look at the head shakes on this one. Wow! Tell you what. This is good action for lake trout. <laughs> We're catching a lot of fish. There's a lot of them in here. What I find special about these fish too is they're just such an amazing predator. I don't know if you can troll these lures fast enough at times in the sense that if you can keep that lure in the water, they'll catch it. In fact, they want it moving. If you slow down, you, you quit getting bit. Whoa, come here, girl. Come here. Fish is hooked good. Take my time here. Whoa! <laughs> That's something. Just bulldog power. Boy, this fish is fighting. Incredible. What a cool fish, though. These fish are just designed to eat. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, almost had her. Come here. There, we got her. Respectable fish. Here. Get her out of the net here. I'll show you the lure here, what we're doing. If you... I honestly think that if you were to even troll at two miles an hour, you probably wouldn't catch that many fish. Here, I'm going to put this fish back in the water right away. 
but you pick up that speed to say two, seven, three miles an hour. And the whole key, this is the bait that we're catching all these fish on. This is called a Salmo perch. And these baits are hand tuned and so you can pull at these faster speeds, but that's crucial. You gotta find a lure that you can pull at those fast speeds. And so this lure here is just tearing them up. I mean, it's just got that wide profile, really wide, hard action. This is a great walleye bait as well, but the lake trout really eat them. Besides the crankbaits like this, you can pull spoons. In fact, you can even pull spoons on snap weights, KO wobblers. There's a lot of good spoons out there, red eye wigglers. But the beauty of it right now is that you don't have to go very deep. And so you don't need downriggers. You just take your traditional walleye gear or even your salmon gear, whatever you're using, and it's long line in the shallow water. And what a blast. Every fall, when the water temperature hits about 50 degrees, lake trout move up and spawn, and typically they're looking for big round boulders. The thing about this time of the year is move around until you find them, but once you find them, you don't find one fish, you find a lot of fish. Fish fast, move around, but once you find those fish, focus on those key areas and you're going to catch a tremendous amount of fish. Wow. This is another big girl here. Can't even move it. I'll tell you what, lake trout in shallow water is about as good as it gets. This fish is just dogging down. We got 40 feet of line out. It's a heavy fish. Come on, show yourself. Oh yeah, another respectable fish there. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Fish is still a little fresh. Isn't that cool? Gorgeous fish. Look at the colors on that fish. Just a beautiful fish. There we got her. All right, nice, nice fish. That's a beauty here. Just think of the, think of the cisco that these jaws have thrashed up. Uh, that's just a beautiful fish right there. Cool. Just beautiful markings on them. These are just gorgeous fish. You know, this area is really under the radar for lake trout. And I think it's just because it's so remote out here. But that's part of what makes this fishing so good out here. There's just, just nobody, there's just non existent fishing pressure. I mean, there's just nobody out here fishing hardly. Those are those big head shakes again. <laughs> we get the boat pointed here. Wow, I just love that. You know, I tell you what, you know, you get in northern Montana, end of October, and it can be cold out here, but you know, with the clothing that's available now, with the base layers and the outerwear, I'm never intimidated to fish late in the season anymore. It's, it's comfortable if you're dressed right. I'm gonna just turn the boat here. But you know what I want to stress is that this is something that anybody can come out here and do. I mean, this is easy fishing. You're just trolling along the face of the dam. And why are these lake trout up here late in the season? Lake trout spawn in the fall. And they move up shallow in some key locations. And they're really accessible to anglers. This is about as good of an opportunity that I can think of to really catch a lot of fish without downriggers. Fish are staying down. Got 10 feet out, but I can't see it yet. Oh, there she is. Yeah, this is a good fish. Good fish. That's kind of neat when those bubbles start coming up in that deep water. She's not hooked good. 
Come on, come on, girl. Gonna go for it. There we go, got her. This is a fat fish here. Oh, come on, girl. Fat girl there. But yeah, this is this is a neat opportunity for a hard fighting fish. There's a fish, there's a fish. This feels like a good fish here. It's a solid fish. I can hardly budge this fish. Look at that. I can't even hardly move it. <laughs> Come on, girl. Let's see you. Show yourself. Look at that. Isn't that something? Oh, she's coming back. Oh, that's a good fish. Whoa! <laughs> it's a good fish there. That's a good fish. There, look at that gorgeous fish. That bait has just been hot. <laughs> that is a tinker. That is a tinker of a lake trout right there. Isn't that a beauty? We'll get this fish back in the water. Thanks for watching this week's show.